When it comes to upgrades and mods for the 20 valve 1.8T engine, there's a lot of debate over tuners about whether you should go with a large port head or a small port head. Most people would assume that that large port head is better and it's going to make the higher power figures, but there is a downside. So this video, we're just going to focus on the question of which port size is correct for you and for your 1.8T tuning project. And we're going to see if it's an important thing, whether you should get so hung up about the port size on the head of your 1.8T engine. And we're also going to look at some other mods you can do in the head that may make more power than just swapping the head for a small port to a large port or vice versa. So this is really one of those in-depth videos that's just going to look at your head choices on the 1.8T engine. So when it comes to the 1.8 T 20 valve engines, people often think about the port sizes. There was a small port version and a large port version. You might automatically assume that you want the large port version because larger always sounds like you'll make more power. So if you check out the link below, you'll see a list of engines that have been identified as having the large port and other engines that have been identified as having the small port. So is there much difference between these? Don't worry too much about the port size. It depends very much on your hopes and aspirations for your own particular engine. In my experience, most of the small port heads can support around 450 horsepower. I've even seen people getting around 600 horsepower through those small port heads. So it's not necessarily going to hold you back. So the difference is really coming to where the power is delivered. The small port heads offer greater velocity and airflow into the engine at lower RPM ranges. And the large port really starts to shine at those higher RPM ranges. So it depends on where you want the power. Do you need the power at the the top end or do you want that low end torque for everyday driving so don't worry too much if you've got a small port engine it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be down on power or not achieving the full potential of your project but for the larger power gains most people will be dropping in the large port head or even doing a large valve conversion on it so some of these engines came with a variable valve timing so the camshaft controls the opening and the closing of the valves at the top of the engine and has a big bearing on how power is delivered so with variable valve timing, the engine can make adjustments to the cam profile and just really optimize it for the engine load and the RPM range that you're operating in. So that can make significant improvements to the engine. So if you have the variable valve timing, then I would certainly recommend you think about dropping a performance cam in because that'll allow you to extend the durations and profiles. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because we would hate you to miss out. If you can boot that like button, that really does help us to get out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.